the stretch today that we're going to perform um, stretches the median nerve flexor group. Um, it's going to involve the thumb, index, middle, and the ring finger. The median nerve only supplies function to the thumb, index, middle, and one half the ring finger, but we involve this anyway. Good stretch where it focuses on it, help opens up the carpal tunnel uh, in the, at the anterior portion of the wrist. So in a thumb up position here, we're going to take the opposing hand, place your fingers over it, pushing the wrist and thumb right in the backwards. As you can see the front of the wrist, it will help open that up. And then I'm going to count three seconds, let go of the ring finger, let go of the middle finger, let go of the index finger, let go of the thumb. And again, you're going to do that for each stretch. Again, back, letting go for three seconds, letting go, letting go, and letting go. And then you're going to repeat that uh, three sets. 10 to 15 seconds is the average you're going to do in there. I guess that's about 12 seconds. Um, and then follow up with your flex stand exercises. It's important. When you stretch a muscle group, you lengthen one muscle group, something's getting longer. If you do not shorten and tighten the opposing muscle group, everything just goes right back to where it was. So follow up with your flex stand exercises. And uh, next, uh, next week we should have part four of the five-part series uh, regarding the advanced stretches for carpal tunnel syndrome. Thank you.